Ah, welcome back, friends. Today I wanted to do something a little different in honor of the late, great Bob Ross. What I wanted to do is do an easy meal on the griddle, not like, you know, those high-pressured, manufactured, made-for-TV situations where a chef is yelling at some line cook or some crazy internet trend where people are slapping their meat around or sprinkling salt extremely obnoxiously. No, I just wanted to have a laid-back meal uh, outside, enjoying nature, and cooking food for the people you love. So open a beer with me as we experience the joy of griddling smash burgers three different ways. All right, friends, so first thing we're gonna do is check the temperature. So we're, you wanna get a little over 400 for these smash burgers. So I'm gonna to toast my buns here, and then as I move over, you can see we're at 430 over on this side. So we're gonna put down a little bit of oil just to get everybody nice and happy. And then we'll throw the buns down first. You always wanna do your smash burgers buns down first because they are gonna to toast up and your burgers are gonna cook so fast that you don't wanna have your buns still on your griddle. So we'll go ahead and put down some buns here. Now I like to use mayonnaise. It's a little bit different for your buns rather than butter. But trust me, once you see the golden brown color that they get, you will see why I use mayonnaise. And so we're gonna do three different ways here on these burgers. We're gonna do a regular smash burger, an onion burger, and then we're gonna do a Frisco melt like they used to have at Steak and Shake. So that's why I got two buns and then some sourdough going down. All right. Don't be shy with the mayonnaise now. Then sometimes these ones will pop up, but we're at 400, so these are gonna toast up pretty darn quick, folks. Oh yeah. Let's see what we get to here. Let's bring over my little tray so we can have them resting on the side until we're ready to go ahead and put our burgers down. So that one's not quite there. There we go. So you can see getting a nice toast on these buns. Ooh, now we're talking. If you're not toasting your buns, you're just not living right. I don't know what to tell you. And if they get a little dark, that's okay. Like Bob said, just happy accidents. Happy accidents right there. There's a cook inside every one of us, you know? You just gotta reach down, grab yourself a spatula, start cooking food. Ooh, got a happy little bun right there that we're gonna put on the side. That one's not done yet. So the right side of my griddle is piping hot, which would be your left. And we're gonna put the burgers down over there and we'll do the onion burger, the regular burger, and the Frisco melt. Once we get the buns done first. Okay. So I'm happy with that one. I'm happy with that one. These over here. This is sourdough. You could use rye. A Frisco melt's almost like a patty melt. You could rye, marble rye, you could just use wheat bread if you had it, but I do sourdough because it's similar to what Steak and Shake used to use. And I love me some Steak and Shake. That bun's done. That one's done. Oh, there we go. That one's not quite there yet. But that is what we are looking for. That nice, see the mayo has oil in it and the fats and that's why it gets that golden brown color there's nothing wrong with using butter i just like to use mayo something a little different also if you don't soften your butter you don't get a whipped butter the mayo spreads like super easy so you don't have to worry about pulling it out of your fridge like a day before or something let's check our temp right here make sure we're ready for these smash burgers when they go down 424 415 418 good so that that's right where we want to be right where we want to be with these things. There we go, that one's done. 
that one I don't think I spread the mayo thin enough. You can always add a little bit of weight on top of there just to help the process along. Normally you're toasting your buns while you're cooking your burgers, but that's not how smash burgers work. The whole point is that you're smashing them down as thin as possible and that's done. They're gonna cook super duper fast. All right, so we got our about three ounce meatballs that are loosely packed. 80-20 beef, you want the fat, so make sure you do 80-20. And I'm just going to sprinkle them all with a little bit of salt and pepper. Be generous. Don't worry about that. And then first, we're going to put one down and we're going to do our basic patty melt, or I mean our basic uh, smash burger. We're going to put the salt and pepper side down and then we're going to smash them and sprinkle them again with salt and pepper. So here we go. Let's put this bad boy now, salt and pepper side down. And then you can see here, I got my parchment paper and then I got a steak weight. So um, you can buy these weights or you can use two spatulas to try to do it. We'll do one set with two spatulas so you can see that. But you do the parchment paper down and then you smash them down as thin as you possibly can. On a hot, you know, over 400 degree grill. Peel that parchment paper off. You want to see the holes. That means you did it right. If there's holes in that meat. This is how they used to do them at diners and stuff. And here comes more salt and pepper right here. Looking good. You will get. I'm just going to prop up this over here so we can put all three burgers on there when they are done. This one's going to get a little bit of burger sauce. Put that on right now, which is just ketchup, mustard. I put Worcestershire, a little bit of salt and pepper, and some um, Canadian steak seasoning in there. This one's also going to get some pickles. And then these things cook quickly. So now, back to our burger. If you got a beveled edge, spatula you can see where the edges are there those work best to get under your burger and get that meat up off the grill because you smash it down so hard and that's what creates the crust that you see right there a nice crust on your burger and this is why we did our buns earlier because you're going to flip you're going to cheese and then you don't even need to normally i would add a dome or something if it was a regular burger but this thing is so hot that you're not even going to need to add a dome. It's just going to melt right down there on top because you just did that about 425. And you put this American cheese on there and it is just good to go. You can see it's already melted. Your burger is already done. Put that on your panty or on your bun. And that is our first smash burger right there. Fantastic. All right, the next one we're gonna do is the Oklahoma onion burger. So we also already got our salt and pepper on this ball right here. Same thing, we're gonna put it over here. We are gonna flip it over. Then the only difference with this one is I'll bring in these onions here that I shaved up real thin, really, really, really thin. So I'm gonna put a couple onions right on top here. Then we're gonna grab our parchment paper again, put that on top, smash it down, just like we did with the last one. Now the onions are gonna cook right into the meat. This was made famous in Oklahoma, hence the name back during the depression. And you can see we got the onions in there. It's like we're making a giant white castle basically. And I'm gonna add more onions cause I like onions. And then we're going to hit it with more salt and pepper. And then we're going to put our bun. I like to steam these buns because that's how they do it at White Castle. And that's how they used to do the onion burger. So even though they're toasted, I like to steam them up like that. And then we will flip this and cheese this. The same thing. It should have created a nice sear on there. This one just has the onions inside it as well. Obviously, you got to like onions. 
Don't forget to stay hydrated while you're cooking. It's always very important. It's a local Columbus brewery. They don't pay me to drink that, but God, I wish they would. Okay, so same thing. You're looking at two, I mean, minute or two here on these burgers. So, and you could do them all at the same time. I'm just trying to make sure you guys see what the difference is between each one. So now it's toasted and now it's steamed a little bit and the onion flavor is coming up through the whole thing. Smells like we got a White Castle in our backyard. That is what we're looking for. Get our next piece of cheese ready. Okay, all right, let's take this off and see what we're looking at here. A nice little burger platter over here. And then when we flip it, we can give it a little bit for these onions to kind of grill up on the other side. And you can use as many or as little as you want. Again, so now we're sitting on a pile of onions. Got a nice sear on that. American cheese again. This is just diner burgers. I'm not trying to get fancy with some sharp cheddar or anything like that. No condiments on this one, just the onions and the cheese. Feel free to change that however you would like. It's not a, not a deal breaker. This is just how I like to make them. See all the onions are getting grilled up on the bottom. Everybody's happy. See if we can get a shot of underneath the burger maybe. You can just see all the onion goodness with the cheese and the onion down there. Okay. Put this guy back onto the burger. That is the Oklahoma onion burger. Okay, so now we've done a couple of them. Our griddle's probably at a different temp, so we wanna see where we're at temp-wise. Our griddle cooled down a little bit because we just cooked all those, so I'm gonna kick in a little more heat here. Probably do it up in the top where we haven't done one yet so that it's nice and hot. And then we got two patties for this last one. So this last one, we have the two patties. One's getting Swiss, one's getting American. And then we're gonna put Thousand Island dressing on the sourdough to make like the Frisco melt from my high school favorite steak and shake. So we'll put one here. One here. Okay, then for this one, we'll put our parchment paper back on there. And then I'll show you guys. So if you're doing two spatulas, instead, if you don't have a weight, don't think you need a weight to go ahead and do this video or to make a smash burger. You can take one spatula, take the other one like this. This is how they do it in Steak and Shake. And just keep pushing it down and pushing it out until you get as thin as you possibly can. Yeah, the weight's a little easier, but don't think you gotta go buy stuff just to do this. That's not not true at all. Do I have a ton of griddle accessories? Absolutely. That's because I have a YouTube page and I have a problem. You just bought a griddle, you do not need to go buy $50 worth of accessories before you start cooking food for your family. You just get out there, smash that meat down the best you can. And you want them to look like that. You want them to look a little rough. These are diner burgers. This is what, what they are. And then we gotta, don't forget, salt and pepper back again we only did the one side and then we placed it down on that side don't forget the salt and pepper back on those you know what i got leftover onions let's just throw those on the griddle throw those down as well we can have fun so we got our sourdough already toasted let's go over and hit it with the thousand island dressing while these toast up so theirs is like a thousand island French dressing combination, I believe. I just like to do Thousand Island because we're keeping it simple. Knock yourself out with whatever you like. 
Get our onions here. Kind of just sauteed up real nice. This one will have onions. Maybe we'll give them a little love with the oil. I mean, at this point, this is just the basic version. Throw in peppers, throw in mushrooms, do whatever you want to do. This is just... Really rocking and rolling. Just some diner, diner food here. So let's see what these burgers look like as we peel them off of our griddle. Again, here, let me get this one. So you don't have to have this, the one with the beveled edge. You can see that char and that crust. It just makes it easier. To get these done. One with Swiss. One with American. The other side of your burger is going to cook immediately. So at this point, you just really got to wait about 30 seconds for your cheese to melt. I'm going to go ahead and put these grilled onions on top of the Swiss. Right there. Make that real nice. Pretty much done, so I'm gonna cut off the griddle. American cheese is looking good. The Swiss cheese is almost there. So we will put this burger on top just to help add the heat to that. Go ahead and put this on our sourdough. So we got two patties, two types of cheese, onions in the middle. That is why I'm gonna wait till next week to start my diet. That side looks better. That's the presentation side, folks. And that is our three burgers. Smash burger, Frisco melt, onion burger. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see my 10 favorite cooks on the griddle, that's on your screen now. I think I'm going to start my diet next week. Have a good one. Keep on griddling, friends.